Hello everyone. This is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. And this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries. Aries, this is your monthly general reading for July 2019. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major theme for you this month. And we have Temperance coming up here. Beautiful. I'm also using the Madame and Dora. The Hourglass. Time is of the essence. And I'm also pulling from the Spirit of the Animal Oracles. Alright, we have Coyote coming up here. Revealer of Truth. Alright. And I will be doing your monthly tarot reading with the Pictorial Tarot. And as always, Aries, I will be pulling several life purpose cards at the end of your reading. Alright, Spirit, what does Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know in July? July 2019, Spirit. Thank you. Aries. Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Spirit, July 2019. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're ready. All right, situation of the month. We have the Four of Pentacles. Crossing you, King of Wands. Beautiful. In your foundation, the Queen of Wands. Recent past, Knight of Pentacles. Crowning you, the King of Cups. Beautiful, the new circumstance, King of Pentacles. A lot of kings here. <laughs> Beautiful. What you need to know about the current situation. Knight of Swords. Your environment. Five of Wands. Your advice from the universe. Ace of Wands. And your outcome energy. The Queen of Cups. All right. Take a look here. All right, nice reading. All right, Aries, let's take a look at your major energies. We have temperance. This is the energy of Sagittarius. Temperance is about balanced relationships, believing in yourself. This can be you working on a project or a job and making adjustments. This is the spirit, spiritual alchemical card right here. Very powerful energy, Aries. I feel like Whatever it is that you're working on or you're working towards. And I feel that it has to do with your financial stability and security. You're making adjustments. You're, you know, you're doing a little bit and then taking a step back and making sure that it's just right. And then, you know, making more adjustments, maybe agreements or compromises if, if that's what's needed in a situation. But you are really being, I mean, you're using a lot of passion and desire to work on what it is that you're trying to achieve here with this energy. 
So very nice. And I feel like you're being driven because we have the hourglass here. Time is of the essence. Now, when when we get this card, especially in looking at your reading here, I feel like there's timing is playing a big part here. Like I said, whatever you're working on, I feel like, just like it says, time is of the essence. Um, there's a need to get it done, you know. Because we have the Knight of Swords down here and what you need to know about the current situation. And that's all about rushing ahead, taking action. So whatever this is that you feel like there's a time limit or something that needs to be done by a certain due date, okay, uh, you're taking action on it. Now we have Coyote here. Revealer of truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. It's very powerful energy right there. I feel like it's going to be very important that you see clearly, maybe see people uh, for who they are, especially those that may be wearing false masks this month. You know, with the coyote coming up here, revealer of truth, I feel like if anybody is coming at you with uh, a false mask, Aries, or BS, you're going to be able to see right through it. But I also feel like there's a need here that if you do come across an individual or individuals that is not on the up and up, there is something to be gained from this. Um, maybe a lesson to learn, uh, to take a positive out of a negative. Maybe taking a look at why they were approaching you or how they were approaching you in a situation where... They're coming at you with, and they're full of crap, right? But maybe taking a look at what their motivation was to maybe have a complete understanding of the situation. All right, let's take a look at your tarot cards. Situation of the month. We have the four of pentacles here. This is all about, I feel like, your finances, your stability, your security, this is about power and control over maybe what you have in the bank or what you're trying to build. Something that's built on a strong and firm foundation. Structure. Now, whatever this is to you, whatever you're, you're working on in your financial situation, with the King of Wands coming through here, this is your energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're very passionate about it. You're working very hard. This is in your crossing position. It can be a positive or it can be a challenge. This is a positive for you, Aries. Whatever you're doing, whatever you are making adjustments in, whatever stability and security that you're working towards, whatever project, business venture, you're very passionate about it. I love the King of Wands. He's my favorite king. He's very powerful. He's very bold. Can be inspiring even. It's a role model type energy. It's leadership. Okay? It's that boss energy. Somebody that, you know, gets people up and going. You know, gives them pep talks. That type of energy. But whatever this is to you. You're going to get it done. And like I said, I feel like timing is playing a key here for a project or whatever it is that you're working on that's going to secure your stability here. Now, we have the Queen of Wands in your foundation. This is what's driving you. 
Again, your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the king and the queen here. So I feel like you have this balance that you need and this self-confidence to be able to move forward. This is you being very self-assured, being a leader, okay? Getting stuff done, go-getter. Whatever she sets out to do, she gets it done. And she has that passion and desire. Self-confidence. Now, in your recent past, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is a slow-moving energy. This is hard-working, responsible, persistent, being very realistic. One thing I like about this knight is that whatever he sets out to do, it may take him longer than everybody else, but he makes sure that he makes the adjustments. He makes sure all the T's are crossed, I's are dotted. He gets it done right. And it's something that is going to bring about financial gain. Now that's in your recent past. I feel like you've picked up the pace here. Now we have the King of Cups in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is stability. Wisdom, generosity. This is a supportive energy. Most importantly, this King is in complete control over his emotions. He doesn't allow his emotions to drive him, to move him. So again, I'm seeing a balance because you have fire, water, and you've struck a balance with this. Temperance again. You guys are just moving forward, cool, calm, and collective, straight up. Because this is what's beautiful is what's next. Alright? The only king we do not have here is the king of swords. But that's okay. The new circumstance is the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a materialistic type of energy. This is a business opportunity. This is a business uh, owner. Somebody that knows what they're doing, okay, especially when it comes to finances, very reliable, enterprising, okay, supportive. With this coming in as the new circumstance, this could be a business loan, a bank loan. This, this is going to be different for everybody, depending on your situation. I feel like this is you taking this balance between fire and water and, you know, literally manifesting your goal down to a mundane level to something that's tangible, financial stability, security, because that's what this represents here. This is you using that spiritual alchemical process to, I feel like, bring in financial gain and stability. This is what you need to know about the current situation, all right? Current situation is the Four of Pentacles. This is about power and control over your finances, your stability. Now we have the Knight of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is you using your mind, being self-assured, taking action, speaking your truth, being very, very knowledgeable about what it is that you are doing and using power with intent to get things done, done in time, whatever this time is, whatever this is for you. This is you saying, okay, let's go, let's get it done. 
using your mind, logic and reason as well. In your environment, we have the five of wands. Very interesting. This can be friendly competition, especially with the hourglass. Time is of the essence coming up here, Aries. This can represent maybe a minor setback, but that's fine. Uh, even though time is of the essence, I feel like you're going to still accomplish your goal if there is a setback. All right? And this can represent for some of you maybe disagreements. All right? But you're going to be able to move through it and work through it. Now, your advice from the universe is the Ace of Wands. And this is just beautiful. So, Spirit is saying... You have a new beginning here, Aries. You have a creative vision. A fresh start. You're, you're headed on an, an adventure here. Something that you're very passionate about. Something that you desire. Something that you want. Saying go for it. Take this time. Take this opportunity. It's a blessing. And we're ending this reading with the... Queen of Cups, and I just love this because you know you have the you have the King and Queen of Wands, you have the King and Queen of Cups. May I mean you guys are just balanced. I feel like in the month of July, all all around, okay, especially with Temperance coming up here. So I th this is beautiful. I feel like what Spirit is saying here with this Cancer Scorpio and Pisces energy with this Queen of Cups is that. As long as you listen to your intuition, Aries, you're not you there's not you're not gonna go go wrong, okay, in whatever it is that you're working towards. If this is a self that you've put a time limit on yourself, okay, uh I feel like spirit is saying honestly, whatever this is, spirit is telling me right now that. Time is of the essence, but you may be putting more of an emphasis on it than maybe what needs to be put on it, okay? You're going to reach your destination. You're going to reach your goal, Aries. The, the Queen of Cups, this is, a, this is an energy of, you know, empathy, being tender-hearted, being, you know, empathic. This is all about listening to your intuition, going with the ebb and flow. And it's paired here. She's, she's staring right at the King of Cups. There's this balance that is just beautiful. And, you know, with the, the Coyote Revealer of Truth coming up here, like I said, don't take things too seriously, Aries. You, I mean, you may be making too big of a deal out of this. This has got to be done right, you know, right now, right now, right now. Maybe there's a need for a little bit of a pause. Don't allow yourself to get too impatient, okay? Because whenever you get impatient, that leaves room for error or mistakes. It's best to stay in this uh, Knight of Pentacles energy, that slow, methodical movement, because you are making sure that everything is is taken care of nothing's getting overlooked all right you have the balance uh i'm going to say right now you have all the tools that are available to you there should just be a big magician right here card on the table here because you guys got you have it all you are going to be able to manifest you're going to be able to co-create what it is that you really want this month you have the balance don't put so much time on this uh, uh, time of the essence, though. I, I feel like it's time for you to maybe take a step back and slow down a bit. Spirit says you have time. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Pay attention to people that may be coming at you. I really do feel like as long as you listen to your intuition this month, Aries, uh, nobody's going to be able to pull anything over 
on you. You're going to see it coming, all right? You're looking out for your stability, your security, control over your financial situation, building what it is that you have up. You have the power, you have the desire, the passion, the self-confidence, the knowledge. To get it done. Not only do you have emotional stability and control, but you have that control, that balance. I feel like abundance and prosperity, securing your assets, your finances, that's what you're moving towards. Don't allow yourself to get too impatient, okay? It may be a need to, to take action right now on a situation that has to do with your finances. But take your time, okay? There could be disagreements, uh, maybe a minor setback, and that's okay. You're still going to get to where you're, you're, to your end goal here. Spirit says you have a new creative vision here. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of this new beginning. Beautiful. Listen to your intuition, Aries. All right. So we have animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. Very nice. We have crystals coming up here. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. For some of you, this could be Reiki. This could be any type of healing. Uh, some of you could be therapists, maybe counselors as well. Mentors. is I'm getting that as well. Alright, Aries. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Aries.